I, I agree. But if you if you take um, what uh, uh, the I'm sorry, what was that guest you had on Dreamland? R W. R W Whitfield. Yes. If you take uh, the theory that he had, which I really don't want to agree with because it just seems so astounding anyway, but if you took that theory and you applied it to the moon, and let's say that at one time, or throughout many times, according to him, that uh, maybe man did achieve some sort of technological advancement that would have put him on the moon where he could have built those structures. Uh, Let me stop you there. All All right. right. All right. Thank you. Let me... uh, Don't don't go away. Oh, oh. He, he's gone. Did, did you lose him? No, wait a minute. No, he's still there. <laughs> I'm here. All right, good. The the provisional dating. Now, everybody hold on to your feet. Better sit down for this one. The provisional dating of the structures we're seeing on the moon. Again, if the meteor fluxes as measured by the last 30 years of space flight are nearly correct. Remember the long duration exposure facility that NASA almost lost in Earth orbit? where they put it up and then they had the Challenger disaster. They couldn't go back up and retrieve it. Oh, yes, and, yes. And it almost entered. Yes. This was, this, was a, this was a device about the size of a boxcar studded with different kinds of materials called a long-duration exposure facility because it was designed to expose materials to the space environment, including micrometeorites. It stayed up much longer than it was intended, so we got a much better database for how meteorites whack the hell out of you know structural materials above the atmosphere using that data and applying it to the amount of degradation we're seeing in the lunar materials the lunar structures if these things are not a half a billion years old i'll eat my hat now why do i pick that time now right away that means they're not human they're they're so far before the only thing existing on Earth at a half a billion years, guys, was blue-green algae. Well, of the pres- pond scum. Of the present generation of humans. Well, but let's keep that for a moment on the shelf. All what right, I'm all right. What I'm getting at here, and I didn't pick the half-billion-year thing just by accident. 